everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. Let's just go into the old Sagita cave, right? I think that's what it's called. To see some ancient technology. These are the ruins? You weren't joking when you said it was a hike. Yes. This is where our ancestors are said to have once lived. Our true roots lie here, dating back to an age far older than our village. Your roots? The duty that we cleave to, the weapons and technologies that we wield, they all stem from this place, Old Sagita our ancestral home. These days, however, it's little more than a nest for monsters. Uh. Are you afraid, son? You're gonna be chief of the village someday, isn't that right? I guess so. That is what Grandpa Sirius and all the other grown-ups say. But my dad does not seem too happy about it. He doesn't? Mind you, I have no doubt that my boy will one day be a strong and wise leader for our people. And I couldn't ask for more, as the man so blessed as to take our elder's lovely daughter as his wife. But as father to my son, I don't want him to grow up feeling bound by the expectations of others. <sighs> I would have him see the world outside, learn and experience many things, and find his own path in life. That's the advice I would give him, from one man to another. But what about the duty of the Sagita? My people value their duty. But will my boy always feel the same? Must he? If my son has experiences, sees things that cause him to question our duty, I don't think this would be such a bad thing. Of course, if his reasons for doing so were half-hearted, I'd have no choice but to oppose him as a Sagita. <laughs> but if he held his beliefs strong and was willing to fight, to sacrifice himself for them, no matter who opposed him, I would want to accept those beliefs. Not as a Sagita, but as his father. Papa, shouldn't we get back to the village? I was supposed to be on lookout duty. And so you were. I suppose that's the end of my tour, then. What? You're not showing us all the way through the ruins? This is as far as we'll go today. I just wanted Procyon to see this place with his own eyes. At least once. I will do what I can to dissuade the Elder from firing the SP cannon before you return. But you should hurry. Thank you, Mr. Lotus. You've been a great help. I wonder if father felt the same way. Procyon's lucky to have such an open and understanding father. Yes, very lucky. Okay. Um... Oh, I can go through walls and stuff. Okay. Whoa, this wall, you can walk right through it. You're right, it looks like just any other wall, but if you try to touch it, there's nothing there. What a remarkable technology, but what would they use it for? Maybe for like a dressing room or something? Well, yes, no one would see you, but why not use your door? I've got it. It's to stop short-tempered people from banging on walls when they're annoyed with their neighbors. Uh, but couldn't they just walk through and start shouting at their neighbors to their face? Maybe it's uh, to make you feel safer, you know, even at these heights. I don't know, fake walls don't make me feel any safer to be up here. And if you're that scared, why didn't you just say so? Anyway, I suppose the fake walls are just to foil interlopers like us. That's harsh, Tiz. Harsh. Probably true. Okay. So, oh yeah, like, I can, like... Alright, let's try to make our way. So, apparently we're 40 through 44, and we're currently 47 to 46. So, I'm gonna go ahead and keep my encounters off for now. Okay. When I decide that I want to fight things, I will go ahead and turn my thingy on. But for now, let's just explore. Um, let's just explore the dungeon, and... Oh, I have it at minus 50. Okay, so I guess we are fighting some things then. And what we'll do, repeat, copy, we'll copy the three just in case. Okay. I 
bang, bang, bang. Ooh, okay, so that is a, that's weak against wind. Okay, so we'll fight a couple things here just to upgrade the pirate. But, yes. All right, let's keep moving on. Ooh, secret bridges too, apparently. Visible floor. Whoa, is this invisible floor? You're right, what in the world? First of all, as you can walk through enough floors that we can't see, this place is full of surprises. Sagita must have had some really advanced technology to make something like this. This is amazing. I'd love to study the properties and make it invisible to the human eye. Uh, wait, you, you're okay with this? I mean, it's like we're floating way up in the air. Like we're... What? No, don't grab that. That's one of the walls. You'll slip right through. Ooh, it's too late. Oh, somebody save me. I don't want to die. Just calm down, walk backwards carefully, and feel around with your hands and your feet. I had no idea you could moonwalk you. Okay, let's keep moving on here. Actually, you're not gonna do. Let's turn the count right to zero here. I don't want to. I don't want to have any more fights. Ooh, it's one of these little circly puzzles. Okay, I dig it. So let's quickly grab this treasure here, and then we could start playing around with the motions. So one of these. No, no, no. Okay, that's not a wall we can walk through. Okay, let's go ahead and first spin. I'm gonna spin this. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Now we can come over here, raise this up, and we'll go back around, and put the other thing back up, and uh, we'll be solid. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy here. Okay, now we can get the green thing back up, and then we'll just walk around up top. Okay, now if we go up here. And I'm guessing we'll be able to reach the other ledges by doing something. Hmm. Everyone, take a look at this tablet. There's something inscribed on it in my language. Or rather, the language of the Sagitta. It looks really ancient. The words are completely worn away in places. I'll translate the bits that I can read. Let's see now. Hmm. So the compass can teleport? It can be used against the ball, basically. Okay. Spatio temporal compass? That sounds an awful lot like the compass Professor Norrison was talking about. That's as much as I can read. The rest is illegible. Don't worry about it. There may be other tablets in better condition. Let's find them. Okay, so real quick, if we go over here and walk through this wall, that's all we can walk through here. Let's go ahead and do a tent event here. Yep, 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 tent event. Everyone loves their tent you, events. What's the hold up? Uh, okay, okay, it's it's ready. <clears throat> First up is roast chicken breast in garlic butter sauce. Oh, that sounds good, especially with rice. A second is a ginger glazed pork tenderloin with extra gravy. Très magnifique! A true feast! I also made whitefish marinade with red peppers and spicy cucumber pickles. That sounds absolutely heavenly. With a bowl of rice on the side. Yep, I'll definitely be wanting rice with that. Make mine an extra large, please, chef. Uh, uh, about that. Come on he already, I'm rice. starving! Bring on the rice! I don't have any. <laughs> Enough joking around already. I'm serious, no rice. Are you out of your mind? What do you mean, no rice? You make all those dishes that go perfect with rice and you forget to boil any? Well, I didn't forget. We just didn't have any in the stores. Then why didn't you buy some, you dummy? Well, I checked before I went to the market, and we had plenty, I swear. The sack was nearly full. Then pourquoi? Someone ate all the rice. Oh! When Magnolia cooked the other day, remember? Rice on rice with a side of rice. Right. Idia kept asking for seconds. And thirds. And fourths. Well, 
Excuse me for appreciating a good meal. Anyway, let's see how you did. <laughs> oh, wow, garlic butter sauce? Mm. Mm. Oh, so good. This ginger pork, oh la la, it melts in the mouth. The red pepper marinade is great. Sweet, and sour, and tart. Oh, and look at this. Whole garlic cloves and the pickled cucumbers. Amazing. It is good, isn't it? Okay, so there's no rice, but I baked croissants. He loves his croissants. Pardon me, Master Yu. Would you have any Gatlayo Dijon? I... That's supposed to be a joke. I don't really understand it. But I know there's supposed to be a joke in there somewhere. Okay, let's move on. There's something here? I can't tell. In the... Okay, it looks like I do. Okay, so... I'm like a little lost right now. If we go this way... I'm like, oh, there's a secret bridge here. Gotta make sure to grab everything. Stopwatch. Okay, and if we go over here... More secret bridges? Oh, and this is the way to where we're supposed to go, so actually, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta go back. Gotta make sure we grab those chests over there. Also, another staircase there. Can we go through here? Ooh, there's another staircase there, too. Okay, so we'll have to go through that one. And first, we gotta go and grab this chest here. Okay, 2,500p. A little, a little useless, but money is money. Let's go over... Let's, let's check out this one first. I feel like... This might take us to, like, a basement with some treasure. Yes. Basement with some treasure. Alarm earrings. We can't... Okay, we can't travel... Can we, go, we can probably go through. Wow, we can't actually go through that wall. Oh, here. Okay. Apparently not traveling through those walls. Fair enough. Let's go back through here. Okay, we're still good on recording time. Sometimes I forget when I start and end. Now, we can go up here. And go down to where we're supposed to go. Bang. Okay. Can't go that way. Walk through this wall. Secret bridge here. Which takes us to this chest. More money. Okay. Another secret bridge here. Through another wall. Ether. Another secret wall here? Nope. Wait, can I go this way? Yes. Okay. The hat. How can I not go through that wall? That's crazy. You kind of see the spider thingies that show which walls can actually be walked through and which cannot. It shows that this wall can be walked through? No, maybe not. Oh, I get it. There's a secret walkway right there. Okay. That makes a bit more sense. Okay, let's go ahead and put up both of these again. Yeah, that makes a little bit more sense. I was trying to think. This is a U shape, so basically I need to close both ends of the U and then somehow make it around town. I'm guessing, yes, that is exactly what I need to do there. During this, is there... Okay, no, I can't go into the walls anywhere there. Okay, with that, now we are able to go above here. Doesn't look like there's anything on these other ends. So... Another tablet. Look, another tablet. Let's see what I can read. Okay, so the compass went missing. So the guy who lost the compass came back to Earth. The guy who lost the compass vowed to come to Earth, and and that's where that's the Sagittarius. That's where the inscription ends. Yeah, that's where the Sagittarius tribe comes from. So somehow the compass eventually found its way to Ansheim. All these years and years later, it's interesting for sure. 
but I don't think it's going to help us save Agnes. Right. What we need now is a way to get to the Skyhold. There may be tablets with more useful information, but... Okay, let's keep looking. Go this way. This way will lead us nowhere? Okay, it leads us to a bridge, but a, br a bridge to seemingly nowhere. Okay, but we can go through here. Okay, so we can go through here to grab this item. Okay, we can't go through that wall. We can go through this wall and go down this little pathway here. And that will lead us... Okay. There's another tablet there. I'm guessing this will just lead us to... Oh, this... I think this is where we might be... This is where we're supposed to go. Okay, hold up. Let me go back. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything behind. So let me just um, take a little, 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 little step backwards here. I don't want to be moving too too much. Let's check out all these places here. I said we can go, bam, through here. Phoenix down. Okay, we'll probably have to come back for that one. Okay, I think we're now good to go down here. Okay, now we can move on to the next set of puzzles. For now, that is pretty useless. What about this corner here? Okay, corner doesn't give us anything new. Okay, let's see. I guess let's go up here and see what's going on. Oh, it's a three-tiered system this time. Okay, interesting, interesting. Challenges are getting a tiny bit harder. Also, I see a little thing I can go through here. Oh, and I can go here. Yep. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, that was a very large... Not a hard secret to find, but that was a pretty hard secret to find for such a little reward. Just being completely honest. Okay. Whew, damn, there's a lot of... A lot of spider. Oh, we can go up? Where does this take us? Oh, it just takes us to this chest here. Trident. Okay. That would help if we had a Valkyrie, which we don't. So that's alright. Okay, I want to get to the other chest. Man, that's a little okay, bit so of... It gets us over to this chest. Remedy, but how do I get to the other chest? Hmm. It looks like that chest can be received from the other end. So, I guess... Let's just figure out this circle puzzle, and then we'll have to come back to it. What can we manipulate right now? Okay, I think we should lower blue. But first is lower blue. Now let's walk all the way around. We should also lower green. Lower green. Okay, let's come around. Let's grab the two chests. Oh, no, no. That's to higher red. First, let's grab this chest. Bang. Can't go behind here, right? Or here? Okay. Didn't think so. Now, you make red high. Bang. And that will be able to help us read the tombstone, or tombstone the tablet. And then once we come back, we'll have to redo a little bit of it get over to the other end oh my this tablet says um Altair for his I'll just let you guys read this So a lot of Lux and Darks, Lux and Darks's science is from a guy from the moon. He was still so young. And yet, this isn't gonna help us fly to the Skyhold either. Hold it together, you. Yes, ma'am. The Buster ship? Could that be? We're moving on, Magnolia. Coming. 
the buster ship. That sounds like something we could probably use to get to the skyhold. Okay. So from here, I can't go this way, but I can go this way. Okay, where does this take us? It seems to lead to nothing but dead ends. Okay, grab that. Oh, this way. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Just missed it a little bit, but that makes a lot more sense. Okay, now we can go this way. Bing, bang, bosh. Grab this one. Use this item as usual. We could also head this way. Let's grab this chest, just like I said. I predicted. Predicted. Okay, how do we get to that guy? Okay, so we need to probably go down here, go through this wall. Over here, go this way, nope, go this way, and we are here to the final tablet. Are we, okay, we didn't fight anything in here, so we can just probably just, uh, save, bang, bang, okay, final tablet, let's go. This seems to be a record of the many inventions Altair was responsible for. This whole list? This Altair guy must have been a real genius. What do you think, Magnolia? Is there anything useful here? Well, let me see. Soft-boiled egg cooker, Are pressure useful? cooker, sewing machine, safety razor. I suppose this section is all household goods? No soft chair, by the way. Death the scope, anesthetics, artificial limbs, microscopes. These must be his contributions to medicine. The suspension bridge, windmills, water wheels, gunpowder, small firearms, automatic weapons, torpedoes, armored vehicles, battleships. I feel like we're getting warm here. Here, what about this? The airborne battleship Sagittarius. Airborne battleship? He invented that too? That's what it says. And also that it was newly deployed to Old Sagitta. If we can get our hands on this battleship, we can get to the Skyhold. Let's return to the village and see if Mr. Lotus knows anything about it. Let's do it. Okay, is that it? Is that all I have to explore here? Help for stone. Right out of here. And we'll come back. Okay, now we have to go all the way back to the place where we once came. Okay, and we can just skip around that whole cave. Just walk in the back door here. Love to see it. Ah, you're back. Mr. Lotus, the SP cannon hasn't... Don't worry. The sky hole is still hiding, and the cannon remains unused. <sighs> Thank goodness. And... How was your expedition? Did you find anything of use? One of the tablets deep in the ruins spoke of an airborne battleship. We think it might be able to help us get to the Skyhold. Do you know anything about it? An airborne battleship? Of course I know it. You do? Is it here in the village? You're looking right at it. The SP cannon there is one part of it. The SP cannon is... Wait, one part of it? Yes, it's all that remains of the once great battleship Sagittarius. Legend has it that the SP cannon served as its main battery. But the Sagittarius lost its flight capabilities generations ago. Now it's all we can do to keep it floating here. I see. Oh well. I'm sorry to disappoint you. You must be tired. Why not take it easy tonight? The ball and the Empire are quiet. Stay here in our village, and recover your spirits with a good night's sleep. It's true. <clears throat> I am feeling exhausted. I'm sorry, everyone. I made us wander around those ruins for nothing. You? No, I didn't mean... Don't sweat it, you. We'll think of another way tomorrow. Hmm... <sighs> Huh. 
one's finally asleep. Now's my chance. Going somewhere, you? What? It's a funny costume. Just... Where are you going, bud? Not dressed up as a pirate. Magnolia, weren't you sleeping? Isn't the better question what you're doing? Sneaking about alone like this? Well, uh, no. I just... Well, there, there's something I had to check. This passageway is the only part of the village that we haven't explored. That's true. But why now? It's the middle of the night. Because it's the middle of the night. I don't want anyone to ward us off. You're hopeless. Which means I'll just have to help you along. You uh, will? Of course. Every good spy needs some backup. I can't just let you go wandering into danger on your own, can I? And I didn't want to put you in danger. Well? L never mind. I'm glad you're here. I was just thinking how nice it is to always have some help. It is nice, isn't it? Thanks, Magnolia. Shall we then? After you. I've been thinking. We've been desperate to find a way to fly, yet... I can't help but feel like the answer has been staring us in the face all this time. Go on. Remember what Tis said when we first got here? The village itself... It's floating. Exactly. Something is keeping this village afloat. Like a great sky stone. Or some massive perpetual motion machine. Whatever it is, this is the only part of the village they haven't shown us. Right. It has to be here. It's a fair assumption. There's no enemies down here, or they'd be giving me a level counter, so... What is this? A singularly large sky stone? Or something else entirely? I'm not sure either, but it looks important. It must have something to do with keeping this village afloat. Let's take a closer look. First, we'll need to get it down from this pedestal. Wait! If this sphere really is keeping the village afloat... Whoops, you're right. We could send the whole place crashing to the ground. I'll lift it just a bit. If anything goes wrong, we'll put it right back. Okay? All right, let's try. Here goes nothing. How does it look? We seem to be safe. Great. And this sphere? Any markings or anything? Nothing. It's... Another dead end. I'm afraid so. And here I thought we were onto something. <sighs> Don't sound so down. We just got here. You're right. Let's keep looking. Okay, guys. I'm going to end this episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to look in the comment as well as the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.